beetle. I hate these things. They fly really crazily. They don't appear to be able to control their flight. They're always like running into you. But every time you can whack them, they seem to be able to avoid you in their chaotic way. What I would probably be pretty tolerant of, except for this one thing that I really hate about these things, which is they're attracted to the compost pile here. And these horrible beetle rubs tend to get into the uh, compost pile. And the one thing that I really hate about that is that they prevent me from growing potatoes in my compost pile, which I really kind of like doing. And these things just chow down on potatoes and they're horrible looking creatures. And I hate them in my compost pile, the Arizona blister beetle grub, which also eats the roots of lawn uh, grasses and clover. So nematodes is the only thing I found to control them. I really dislike these things. As you can see, they fly rather chaotically. That right there. The beetle grub that I hate so much. The beetle grub of the Arizona blister beetle. Eating potatoes, roots of my clover lawn. Damn you, bitch. Alright, watering down the compost pile. But boy, there are a lot of beetle grubs in here. Got mixed up some nematodes in here. I'm going to spray them in, right in there. Uh, doesn't take much. There are many, many beetle grubs in here, as you can see. Very, very large one right there. It doesn't take much digging around to find them. There's another one. Doesn't take much time to dig them up and find them. Right? right, even though I'm watering the pile right now. So I have a really bad problem with beetle growth. You can see here's another one right there. Very easy to find them. So here's my experiment. I can get rid of it. these guys with these nematodes over a month or so from now. I should be able to dig around in here and not find giant beetle grubs like this. We'll see. And that right there is the beetle grub that I hate so much. The beetle grub of the Arizona blister beetle. Eating potatoes, roots of my clover lawn. Damn you, bitch. So something that does happen here in SoCal is, man, compost pile can really get a lot of beetle grubs in there and just a couple months ago I showed just how many beetle grubs there were in here and now when we dig around we don't find any beetle grubs at all which is just shocking to me to be really honest because I have to say that most of the time there are beetle grubs in here but I use those parasitic nematodes and it seems to have really helped. I'll be turning this guy, or I'll be, I'll be sifting this guy. Be sifting this guy. And I won't have to be taken out a bunch. This was Gardens Alive's version, which I have to say they seem to be the most aggressive and show up in the best condition. I've experiment with others and they've been okay. But this was a really bad infestation here, and I really want to sift this compost pile without having to deal with gigantic white worms. I hate those things, they're crazy. Super destructive too to your plants if you use the compost. And there's little tiny beetle grubs in there because they will eat the roots. In any case, here's the proof that those nematodes will eradicate beetle grubs in your lawn or in your compost pile as the case may be.